Hey guys, just got back from South Africa and wow, it's cold. Imagine I went all the way there and forgot three things in my camera bag. Watch the rest of the video, see what I forgot and see what I have in my bag when I went there. Check it out. Wow. How excited it was cold. Back home, back in it, back in Toronto is this crazy weather. So I wanted to actually do a video before I left in regards to what I was taking to South Africa with me. Um, I was just busy. I got a lot of, um, I had a lot of things going on, schoolwork, um, some other projects I was doing, and I literally just ran out of time. So I made sure to, when I came back, I wanted to make sure I wanted to get this video out to you guys um, and just tell you what was in my bag, pretty much. And of course, the three things that I forgot, it, it, was, it was such a stupid mistake. And I, and I remembered as soon as I was in the plane and I was like, this is, this is crazy. But let's get to it. So I just wanna go over some of the things that were in my bag. Um, I have a um, Peak Design bag here. I have my trusty uh, travel companion here. I actually have two of these. I brought this one. Um, it's a very light Manfrotto um, B3. It's an older one. Um, I also had a bigger one that I put in my luggage and I put in the, um, the carry-on bag the, or the, the in the plane bag. Um, but that, that was handy, very, very handy. Some of the things I also made sure to bring. Um, can't go anywhere without them. My Beats earphones helps me a lot, especially on the plane. Um, my drone. <laughs> If you haven't got a chance, check out the video. Um, I think it's over here. Check out the video over here um, on some of the drone footage I took in Cape Town, South Africa. Wow, like first time, I was a little nervous, um, but I got some really good footage, so check that out. I was able to bring my gimbal. Um, I really need to practice this thing. This this was really great, really handy, um, but I really need to practice using and, and using all the functions of a gimbal because this is my next step. I want to really be able to get some real good coverage with um, using the gimbal. So I'm going to be definitely practicing a lot more of this. That's pretty much, oh, this is one of those things that you tend to always forget. Luckily, I, I don't tend to forget. I gave my wife one of these little packages as well. Um, don't remember exactly what I had in this. I want to say it was some sort of filters or something, um, but, I had a couple of cables in here, a little bit of a nice little cloth, um, some little pads for my camera, but everything was in there. Oh, and this little thing from Apple I got a while back. Um, just if I want to put an SD card in here really quickly, plug it in my phone, check out some pictures. It's pretty handy. It worked out. Wife loves this. So keep that in mind, guys. Some of the other things that were in my bag. Um, I wish I had two of these. I don't know what I was thinking when I only got one of these. Um, I don't know. The amount of charges and amount of things I needed to charge, I need to have more of these. So I, I'm kind of upset that I only brought one. Um, that's that's the top bag. That's the, the top part of the bag. Um, it holds a, a fair amount. Um, in my big pocket, I had my MacBook 13 inch. I believe this can hold up to a 16 inch. It has so much space. When I was actually coming back, I actually had my daughter's iPad inside there as well. It's a smaller one, but it fit in there so nicely and so neatly. Um, I went to Home Depot and these things, these little squiggly things are great. It actually helped tie on my, um, my tripod a little bit better to my bag. It made life so much simpler. Um, so definitely, if, I think they were like $7, you get three of them. My daughter loves playing with these things, but it really was, it really helped to secure it back onto my bag and also my carry-on bag. When I got tired of carrying it on this, I put it on my carry-on bag, so check that out. Right now, at the moment, I only have one camera body. I'm definitely gonna be investing in another one. If you have any suggestions, give me a comment at the bottom. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but I brought my 70 to 200. I had just purchased this recently. Might be doing a review on it, just letting you guys know how I liked it, what it was like having a 70 to 200 on your Nikon Z7 II. Beautiful, beautiful lens. Uh, the bokeh in this, phenomenal. Um, definitely, if you got opportunity, check it out. Another lens I brought was my 24 to 70. Uh, yes, I brought both of my zooms. My bag was heavy, but it, was, it, was wor it worked really well having these um, different options. Um, Changing lens in a safari is not something you really want to do just of all the dust, but I was able to do a quick little couple of changes here and there. A Spear iPhone that I use with my drone. It's a pain. I can't wait to get the new controller where I can just control my drone, but I might be upgrading my drone because I'm kind of, I think I'm kind of hooked on my drone now. I love having a drone and being able to fly around. Scary, 
But I got the thing, I got the nerves out. Can't wait to finish up my course. I got part one done. I'm ready for part two. And hopefully I'll be a complete professional drone pilot, um, hopefully by 2023, fingers crossed. If you guys have any ideas or hints on how to pass that second class or that second course, let me know. Some of the other things I had in my bag, spare batteries. You can't have enough. Um, once again, because of the fact that I had only one um, adapter, it, it, it was a struggle having to change batteries all the time. So in my side pocket here, I have about three spare batteries, three spare batteries, as well as SD cards and XDR cards as well, um, because you never know when you need them. So I always had an extra of those, and that was great. This bag here is by um, Peak Design. Once again, I think I told you guys about this bag. Really, really amazing bag. Um, the Nikon body I took with me, or the body I took with me, was the Nikon Z72. It's been amazing. And I know this is at the point where you guys are trying to say, okay, what, what did you forget? What did you forget? This is the reason why you guys are here. The three things that I forgot to bring on my trip was one, a DJI mic. I just bought it when I got back. It's been working great. This video is being video is being mic'd up by the DJI um, mic right now moment. I'm looking to get a lapel for it later on. I've heard a couple of things about the Shure MV, um, MVL, sees it works pretty well, but I heard there's a lot of background noise um, in, in the mic, in the lapel mic, so I'm gonna double check that before I buy it. Um, the next thing, an indie filter. I don't know what I was thinking. I was looking into them. That sun was so bright, and when I went on to do my video, some of the video could have been better if I had an ND filter. And we'll talk about that in another video. Also, I forgot the extra ND filters for my drone. So my drone videos were well, were good, but I had to crank up some of the, um, the exposure a little bit just to kind of balance it off. And you know, it's only a 2.8 on the DJI Air 2S. So unfortunately, some of the footage might have been blown out, so I couldn't use that footage until I figured out the settings a little bit better and put it back up in the air. The, um, if another filter for my drone would have been amazing and I left them at home. And one more thing I should have brought was my 35 Lens. I was thinking about it and at the end of the day I decided not to bring my 35 because the bag was so heavy. It's one of those things that you want to bring all your lens or you want to bring as much as possible but when it comes down to it there's certain things you just can't bring. So when it came to my video part of my the video stuff I wanted to do I ended up having to take my video with the 7200 and it was heavy but it worked but it was heavy and I think the next time I, I do travel to someplace like South Africa or South Africa or Cape Town, I would try to arrange figuring out how I'm going to pack my bag a lot better, do a checklist and make sure that I have everything I want. But those are purchases that I kind of want to do for next year, making sure I have more L, um, indie filters and just having a, a different array of things. I think the things I have right now in the moment works well and it complements what I actually do in my photography business. So I'm looking to grow certain things here and there, but video is one of those things I want to try to adapt more, more things out of it. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking.